r slash ask reddit what invention has most negatively impacted society the thing that has the most negative long-term impact on society is probably going to be something affecting us right now that we have yet to experience the full ramifications of my bet is on the widespread presence of plastic in literally everything fun fact there's a lot of plastic in our blood the best way to get it out is to donate blood because the new blood that forms will dilute it adding lead to gasoline adding lead to house paint using lead pipes I know that lead is a fundamental element, but exposure to lead in our environment causes cancer and brain damage. At least we're not eating it anymore like the Romans used to. Pop-up ads, even the inventor hated it. Especially on mobile. So infuriating trying to read an article but a bunch of pop-ups and amp, a video player you can't close block 80% of the screen. As a blind person, I fully agree. Link to an article. Pop-ups. And even better pop-ups that my reader can't navigate because it's literally a JPEG or GIF of words, instead of text. And GT, in the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. We are sorry for the inconvenience. Don't forget your towel. Removed. Yeah, but digital watches. Existence is pain. Don't panic. Do you know where your towel is? subscription based everything it's only going to get worse too soon the vast majority of people won't own anything my car comes with a subscription now kid-friendly YouTube shorts I just feel like it ruins the attention span of children giving them short slash one minute attention spans over time they just get sucked into that shit I know it's not super significant compared to other inventions that could have negatively impacted society I'm trying to think of something that might not have been mentioned here yet lol Kids need to be taught how to cope with being bored. I know I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I usually had a book on me. TLDR. All shorts. For all ages. It's the worst. Reminds of the South Park bit. We haven't actually seen anything, we're just reporting it. Cigarettes killed 100 million people in the back 80 years of the 20th century alone. There is no doubt in my mind that this should be number one. Not mostly negatively impacted society, exclusively negatively impacted society. Uh, PFAS. This should be higher on the list. Almost all waterproof products and stain resistant products contain PFAS. Even fast food wrappers contain them. It is found in majority of water supplies and 90% of people's blood and we don't fully understand the health effects. It does not degrade and accumulates in the food chain. Good news. 200 PFAS types was banned in EU effective February 2023, and EU is working on banning some 10 more. Should be in effect in 2025. That's not all of them, but most. Social media. Went from a nifty way to keep connected with friends to being a platform for force feed us ads and political misinformation. I'd be more specific and say children having access to social media and the internet. Depression in teens is so high along with eating disorders and self-harm. They are also prime victims for grooming and being taken advantage of. Smartphones. I don't think social media would be the problem it is today if you had to go to a desktop to use it. Smartphones has turned an entire nation into zombies. Asbestos. I feel very bad for the people who were unknowingly affected by it. Yes. Clickbait is as old as news, but journalists still had more incentive in general to be truthful and concise. I mean, technically no one invented asbestos. Someone just came up with the idea of using it as fireproofing. Infinite scrolling and I dare say algorithms that feed into an echo chamber. I had to scroll too far down to find this. Social media seems to be racing to first place. CFCs. Also let it fuel, thanks Thomas Midgley. Link. The snooze button. LED headlights. Fuck that guy. LED is innocent. It's the cool color hue they default with using. Warm colors, golden, yellow, don't refract inside your eye and cause irritation. Gave up on news cycle, now I watch the YouTube show TLDR News for a daily 8 minute summary of big stuff that has happened. Turns out that is more than enough for general news. We'll check out blogs for my industry news stuff. Plastic, right now you have microplastics in every single organ, including your brain. Basically every medical procedure or surgery you might get in a hospital is much more dangerous and difficult at best or impossible at worst without plastics. Plastic is actually one of the best things to have ever been invented. 
it's the abuse of single-use plastics that became the problem it is today. Social media. Social media. And yes I realize the irony. Junk food. I knew someone with colon cancer say you know, I think it might have to do with the food we're eating. We're literally eating ourselves to death. Shareholder value. The prioritization thereof. Okay because no one is giving serious or non-snarky answers, it's often speculated that had the cotton gin not been invented, slavery might have ended sooner. Leaded petrol is estimated to have lowered the IQ of everyone born in the 60s and 70s by around 6%. And GT, okay because no one is giving serious or non-snarky answers, it's often speculated that had the cotton gin not been invented, slavery might have ended sooner. Had it not been invented, it would have significantly delayed the industrial revolution globally, and that would have significant knock-on effects that would probably have been worse, think famines and the like. Cotton was the only fiber suitable for hot factory work at the time. That's my excuse anyway, what's yours? The guy that lead development of leaded petrol was also a pioneer of CFCs that damaged the ozone layer. Link. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.